Back in December, I shared my results from using this Philips Lumia Advanced IPL device over a 10 week period. Now the makers say it should reduce hair growth by 85% after just three uses. Well, after 10 weeks of using the device fortnightly, I felt my result was something close to that. But four months on and six months after starting treatment, what's the final verdict? What are the longer term results? Well, here's where we find out. So I should start this final update by letting those of you who don't know anything about this device and you want to find out how it works and how you use it. Well, I cover all of that in the first review video that I filmed and I'm gonna to link to that here. Uh, back in December, I filmed my results after 10 weeks of using um, the Philips Lumia Advanced IPL and I've got before and after pictures in that video and you can see that here. To summarize, it's a plug-in IPL device, IPL standing for intense pulse light, and it comes with two detachable heads, one for your face and one for your body. So I bought this one on Amazon for £200 when I noticed it was on offer and um, very heavily reduced. So it's currently selling for £279 on Amazon UK. I'm going to link to that in the description box below for you to take a look. But it is worth looking around to see if you can get a better deal. Um, I've also linked to a similar model on Amazon in the US and it is currently priced at around $370. With the device, there are five uh, treatment settings. You line the head up over the area that you want to treat, and then you press down on this trigger to release the light. And for treating larger areas, you can just hold the trigger down and keep it moving um, after each pulse if you want to get over a larger area more quickly. To start off with, I um, mainly used it at setting three for comfort. And when you use the device, you just feel little pulses of heat on the skin. And that can feel quite hot to begin with. But after you start using it for a while, you, you just get used to it. And more recently, I've just been using it on setting five. So the device works by using light to target the pigment in your hair called melanin. And it absorbs the light from the flash sending the hair into a resting phase. And it's important to remember that really frustratingly with this device and, and a lot of IPL devices, they don't work well on blonde or ginger hair or darker skin tones. It works on lighter skin and darker hair because it's targeting the pigmentation. So Philips have produced a guide to hair and skin types that it's best suited to, which I'll also include for you in the description box below. It's really worth taking a look at that before uh, making a decision about buying. To recap, after using the device every two weeks for 10 weeks, I got a pretty good result. Um, here's the picture at that 10 week stage where you can see some very patchy growth, but plenty of bare patches on my legs. I should say this photo should also come with a warning because it was taken in winter when my legs hadn't seen sunlight in months. In fact, they still haven't. So apologies, Pretty Polly aren't gonna come knocking looking for a new model anytime soon. So after 10 weeks, I moved into more of a maintenance mode, which was what was recommended in the instructions. And I continue to use the device every sort of three weeks to a month to try and maintain the results. And so doing a whole leg takes at least 10 minutes. So, you know, when you're doing both legs, your bikini and underarm, it takes a long time. And I'm gonna confess, although I've been using it at least monthly, I've not methodically gone over absolutely every area, every part of my leg each time. You need to shave before you use the device so that the light doesn't have too far to travel down into the root of your hair. And what I'd usually do is if I notice a patch or patches of hair on my leg, I would shave them and go over that spot and then maybe some of the surrounding areas at the same time. And I would always do my underarm and bikini in full. So in doing that, where have I ended up six months on? Well, the good news is that under my arms, the hair has almost completely gone. Um, so that's something that I need to now remind myself to use the device there because I have no hair under my arms at this moment in time. 
it's also been really effective on my bikini line. So it's basically most effective on darker, thicker hair. And that's where you're likely to get the best results. It's the finer, lighter hair that's more difficult to target. So it's a slightly different story for my legs, pretty much where I was, you know, particularly around my knees. So here's a picture that I took last weekend, and that's 10 days after I last shaved and used the device. So you can make out little patches of hair around the knee and then very sparse hairs here and there over the rest of my legs. So that is a vast improvement, but it does mean I would still need to shave or wax before I went on holiday or if I was wearing shorts or a bikini anytime soon, not likely in Scotland. So it's not complete hair removal for me, but it's a very strong result. You know, it's hard to say whether if I had continued to use the device every two weeks for a much longer period, that's not what it says to do on the instructions, but if I had, could I have got a, a rid of a little bit more of the hair growth? I probably could. Um, but the idea in the instructions was to use it every couple of weeks for three or four times and then move into a maintenance mode. And that's what I've done because it's pretty much what I have time for. But for me, it has been money well spent because I could have easily gone into a clinic and spent over a thousand pounds on a series of IPL treatments and still ended up with a little bit of hair. Instead, I've spent 200 pounds and have drastically reduced my hair growth. There's a couple of additional points I wanted to make. As with all things in life, this device will work better and last longer if you maintain it. So that means cleaning the glass after each use. You just um, remove the head and take a lightly damp cloth and wipe down the glass. So little white spots can appear on the glass from smoke that comes off any hair on the surface of the leg that you might have missed while um, shaving. So definitely cleaning the glass will get, give you best results every time. Also to flag that when used continuously over larger areas, the device can overheat. And you know it has overheated because it stops working and um, you get a run of little flashing lights rather than one constant. And when I first got it, you just switched it off when it overheated and left it to cool for sort of 10 minutes or so and you could start using again. Now, six months on, I've noticed it's taking more than twice as long to cool. So it's already becoming a little less efficient over time. My final verdict on the Philips Lumia Advanced IPL device is that it has delivered a good result for me. You know, my razor is hardly ever used now. I just run an electric shaver over any straggly hairs. So it's so much easier. Um, and therefore it has been a very sound purchase for me. I hope you found this update helpful. I know a few of you have been asking how the IPL treatments have been going longer term. So this is for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section. I do love to hear from you. If you've bought the Philips Lumia Advance, let me know how it's working out for you. And if you hit the subscribe button, you can watch my next video as soon as it's published. And by liking this video, you help it reach more people. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.